So, guys, yesterday I saw a tweet from Meerkat. Of course, we did a collab the other day. Go check his channel out in the description. Uh, but he talked about there could have been a bombshell with the reason why Vettel left Ferrari. And that reason is that maybe it's because he's going to IndyCar and because he is on his way out of F1, they've decided and he's decided it's the best for his family and for the team that he moves on and uh, opens that up for Carl Sainz. And if this is true, which I suspect we will know soon, how crazy. Obviously, we know Ferrari have been evaluating joining IndyCar in the recent weeks, uh, months, forever. They've seen like going to IndyCar, and I really actually do think this will happen. Now, I think there's a good chance that this will happen, but there's a few issues here. The first issue is, I don't really know how Ferrari would go in IndyCar, judging by the fact that they can barely manage their own F1 team. Now, why would they bother running an IndyCar and Formula 1 team? Sure, McLaren somewhat does that, but I don't agree that that would really work and it would be best for the team. Uh, Sebastian... Maybe it would be best for him to go to IndyCar. Yeah. The The issue is that we've seen a lot of F1 drivers that go to Indianapolis say that is is the most intense and scary thing that they've ever done in a race car. Uh, of course, Fernando Alonso. Of course, he didn't even qualify uh, for last year's event. And... Uh, Daniel Ricciardo said that he doesn't like ovals and obviously joining McLaren he could possibly uh, do the Indy 500 but he probably won't because he just scares him and it's crazy because well they aren't this is where I don't like people kind of comparing Formula 1 to IndyCar because they're two different disciplines of motorsport entirely they're both yes open wheel uh, but, obviously, they're just two different beasts. IndyCar runs on all different types of circuits, street circuits, ovals, road courses. Uh, of course, just the one type of, well, two types of circuits for Formula 1, the street circuits and the permanent circuits. And, of course, IndyCar, well, it used to be worldwide. It used to go when they were split, Champ Car and uh, Indy Racing League when they were split, they, uh, I can't remember which one it was that went international, and they went to all sorts of different countries, I, I swear I saw them at Brands Hatch one year, I swear I've seen videos and pictures, but uh, in the background of this video you'll find out, but I don't know if it's, you know, I don't know if Seb really wants to go to IndyCar, he hasn't really talked about it too much. Binotto said they uh, that Ferrari are evaluating joining uh, IndyCar. But yeah, as I said, I don't expect them to join. Maybe do kind of what McLaren have done with basically joining, but only kind of partially. They don't have their kind of own sort of official team, if you know what I'm saying. They are kind of, you know, obviously they are, they're, they're branded, but it's kind of off the side of the, McCal uh, the McLaren franchise, sorry, and yeah, I don't know, F1 drivers in IndyCar, it seems to be the, the, the slower guys in F1 seem to do half decent in IndyCar, obviously, uh, Marcus Ericsson, he uh, is of course He's decent in IndyCar, he's pretty competitive, uh, but yeah, so just crazy right now, when you, you think there would be nothing going on with Formula 1, because of course we're in quarantine, and 
out of the blue, we've got all this drama. Seb leaves. Uh, Science, uh, no. Ricardo confirmed at uh, McLaren before Science has even confirmed at Ferrari. And then there's this vacant seat at Renault. And if you do want me to make a video on the whole Renault situation, I might be able to do that tomorrow. But we'll see. It's so... It's complicated because Fernando Alonso, I think he wants to get the hell out of IndyCar. I don't think he likes it at all. I think he's embarrassed to be in that championship after what happened at Indianapolis uh, in his second year at the event. Obviously, in his first attempt, what, 2017, he actually was doing okay until uh, the good old uh, engine let go. But, uh, yeah, I don't... It, it's going to be interesting to see because of what's going on, whether Ferrari... Obviously, they are kind of put... Obviously... Ferrari have been saying that they will leave Formula 1 and not do F1 and just focus on IndyCar if the pay cut is not uh, brought into place uh, with what's going on with COVID-19 and yeah I don't know it's a bit sticky the, the whole Renault situation the whole Ferrari situation I'm just lucky I have some content but uh Hopefully you uh, enjoyed the video and agree with some of my opinions. Uh, shout out to The Outside Line. He created the intro for my channel. I hope you like that. Go check out his channel. And also, Moto Meerkat. Uh, he will be down in the description as well. Uh, he creates fairly similar videos to mine. And uh, he's just recently got 1K. And of course we did a bit of a collaboration the other day so hopefully you enjoyed the video check out my twitter subscribe like and do whatever you want uh hopefully i see you back for another video and i'll see you next time goodbye guys